Welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Have you guys ever tried stew bora with chicken and potato? It's simply divine. So join me in the kitchen and let me show you my take on this scrumptious recipe. I hope you're having a blessed and a fabulous day. So let's get cooking. So the first step in preparing our bora is we're going to prepare the chicken. So what I went ahead and do, I went ahead and wash and prep my chicken in the sense I'm using like the hard fall. So this takes longer to cook. So bear in mind if you're using that, um, you know, the cooking time is going to be similar to mine. But if you're using the store bought chicken, which is softer, it cooks faster. So be mindful of that. I usually go ahead and sear the chicken off and burn out some of that rank water. So that is what we will be doing In first. my pan here, I have some oil heating up. Um, this is my chicken, so I'm just gonna add it here. Go ahead and spread it out evenly here in the pan. So you know, each piece can release that rank water and get a nice sear in it. So while that is happening, these are the aromatics I went ahead and prepared. So I have here, some um, garlic and ginger paste, wiri wiri pepper, scallion, cilantro, some celery stock, and some onion. So we're gonna use all this to season up our chicken along with some dry spices. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this chicken over, you know, start turning it so it could fry up nice. All the sides can get brown and nice and coated. Before, you know, I want to get rid of all that blood that is the chicken that is, that is releasing from the chicken. I want to get rid of it. That rankness. So I'm going to go in and add my aromatics now to my chicken. Add everything I have cut up on the cutting board into our chicken and let this start build some delicious flavor. So now I'm going to go in with my dry spices. And we're gonna proceed to fry this up, you know, build a lot of delicious flavor here into the chicken. You want your chicken to be well seasoned, you know, have good flavors. So we're still gonna fry this down, you know, until we get rid of all that little bloodiness from the chicken. Combine everything nicely in here and let this fry. Chicken is looking so delicious already. I am gonna go in here with some tomato paste and I know you guys are gonna want to, you know, how I have it in cubes like that. But whenever I open my tomato paste, I open the can. For it to last longer and not spoil, I usually, because you know when you open tomato paste, you're not using all of it at the same time. So what I usually do, I usually cut it up like this and um, freeze it. I would freeze it in little Ziploc bags. So when I'm ready for tomato paste, I have it like this or I'll freeze the whole, you know, the whole um, can of the tomato paste and then I'll slice it up like this. It's easier to do it that way. When you freeze it, it's sliced easy. So that's a great way to preserve and keep your tomato paste longer. So I'm gonna proceed to let this cook, you know, marry with the tomato paste and stuff and get all that delicious flavor. And then we're gonna proceed to add our bora here and the potato. This is what our chicken is looking like. I'm gonna go in and add our bora and potato here. You can add salt to taste. You know, mix everything in, add salt to taste. And we're going to pop a lid and let this do its thing here. Some delicious bora. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a tomato and cut it up and put it in here. So my bora is like, it's like a stew bora in the sense, it's more of a stew bora rather than a fry bora. And it's delicious. The flavors that come through here is OMG delicious. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. So I'm gonna go in with our tomato. And we're gonna mix this in. Pop a lid on this and let it fry. You guys can smell the aroma that is going on in here. Here you have it, our finished boro with potato and chicken. Look at this, looks so beautiful. And it's cooked to perfection. The potato is nice and soft. Look at this, rich and delicious. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. 
I am going to plate it up and I'll have my little taste tester taste test for you guys and let you know her take what she thinks about it. We have a beautiful taste tester. So dig in. She wants hers with roti, roti and bora. Oh my god. It's hot, right? The roti yeah. just don't cook. We're burning up your little hand. <laughs> <laughs> So look at that yeah. delicious bora with chicken. Chicken, her favorite. She's a chicken mouth. I try it. Three, two, one. Mm. <laughs> How she loved to exaggerate herself. How is it? Really good. It's delicious. Mm hmm. So you're gonna tell the kids them to eat their veggies? Yes. Are you just taking chicken alone? Am I seeing right? You're mm -mm. taking okay, mm -mm. bora chicken and a potato. The bora tastes so good, yo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here the slang, the bora tastes so good, yo. So there you have it, guys. Um, I do hope you give our um bora recipe a try. It's a slightly different from you know other um fry bora. We do it a little bit different in the stew way. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as little Missy here and the rest of the family will be enjoying it. So sending our love, thanks and gratitude. Thank you guys so much. See you soon with another delicious recipe. Bye. Mwah. <laughs>